Hi guys, Aaron here. We are looking at a downflow 80% furnace coil underneath, obviously, drain right here. Um, gas electric all on the one side. Uh, unfortunately, when the homeowner had the water heater installed, not by us, but by another contractor, but it was just done, they were not very cautious. This is hard to see in the video, but they actually banged up the wall because the door stop does not completely um, keep the door from flexing. And so literally when the door comes in, it hits the door stop, but someone leaned on it or pushed on it and it actually dented the wall. So just be a little careful there. Maybe throw a tarp behind the door so that it doesn't go too far there. Um, from there, uh, the install itself should be relatively straightforward. It is a relatively tight space. Garage is right here. The only thing I wanted to point out is we've got the goofy V filter here. We'd like to move away from that. My thought process is a front-loaded filter. The new system will be about 10 inches shorter because of the height of the coil in the furnace. And so my thought is, is if we go with a Y-style collector and we bring the flue pipe more in this direction, we should have just enough room over the top of that to go in with a 1620 by one filter, just a slot right in at the very top, right underneath that cleat. Um, when you get out here, if that doesn't seem like a good fit and you wanna go above it or you wanna do something to the side, you know, just let us know, uh, let the homeowner know kind of what you feel is best, but we do wanna go away from this um, V style filter. No matter what, we'll have to do something because the new height's gonna be dramatically lower. Uh, outside of that, AC's outside on the ground, electric boxes in the garage right beside me, thermostats on the other side of this wall. It's Aaron851, call with questions.